very much. I love you. I truly do. All right. I'm not going to take up any more time. We're going to turn the rest of the service over to the Goulds, and they're going to turn it over to Brother Daryl. Brother Daryl is visiting us from Orange, Virginia. And uh, as I said earlier, I hope you came expecting a blessing. You guys have water? I'm going to go find Daryl one, and I'll join you. Come on up. This is the Goulds. <laughs> Well, y'all ready to have a great time in the house of the Lord. Amen. Man, 
morning when all the dead in Christ shall rise. Are y'all ready to have a great time in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Come on. We are glad to be here this morning. Brother Jimmy, thank you so much. Lonnie and Connie, and thank you for inviting us, letting us be a part of this. And uh, Brother Darrell, pleasure to meet you. You are, uh, where are you from? Orange, Virginia. Right? Orange, Orange, Central Virginia. 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 About an hour below D.C. Woo, man, you, you are a far piece from home, brother. <laughs> Hitchhike all the way here. <laughs> We're the ghouls. We're glad to be here again. And uh, and let me take just a very quick moment and introduce these beautiful young ladies to you. They're our daughters, and they, it's a privilege and a joy as a father to be able to sing alongside of them and spread the good news of Jesus Christ with them. And on my left is our oldest daughter. She is uh, 25, almost 25 years old. You will be turning that in a few days, your birthday. And uh, I've, I've got word that at 25, I have to quit announcing your age. So I'm going to do it every time until, we, until that birthday comes on a couple of more times. But she, uh, she got married a couple of years ago. You might remember me saying that. Her husband was, was with us last year. He was not able to make the trip with us this year, but they have uh, had two years of wedded bliss, and it's been so much fun watching her grow up. She does a great job singing our alto part. Make her welcome, Miss Kelsey Gould Mertens this morning. Yes, this young lady right over here is our baby girl. When we started singing, she was 10 years old. She is now 19 years old. She graduated last May, and uh, she will begin cosmetology school in January. We are excited. You know why, right? Free haircuts for the rest of my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. I told her, I said, I will volunteer to be your very first chair haircut. My hair is already short. You can't mess it up that much. And there's nothing you can't do that I can't live through. And, you know, and it's an honor and privilege. So she does a great job singing our soprano part. Make her welcome as Krista Gould this morning. The most important woman in my life. We've been married for 29 years. And it seems like only yesterday we were in Santa Barbara, California, where she is from. And walking down, she was walking down the aisle. I was waiting at the end of it for her. 29 years later, it has just been a blur and a blessing. As my lovely wife, Deb, back there in the back running our sound. My name's Tim Gould. This next song, uh, this is a song off one of our very first national CDs, and we sang it, and uh, it was at a pivotal point in, uh, in Kelsey's life. She was just needing to decide whether she wanted to go on college scholarships to play softball, or whether she wanted to sing and follow God in that direction. And we just said, you need to pray about it. You need to do whatever God would have for your life. She prayed about it a couple of weeks, came back, said, Daddy, I cannot play softball all my life, but I certainly can sing and praise the Lord. And that's what 
what I want to do. And she was at a pivotal point where she had to make a decision to fly in one direction or the other. And the older I've gotten, I have figured out that those points come in our lives many, many times. Amen. And maybe today you're faced with something new direction that God wants you to fly. We want you to know that He has the strength and courage to support and give you your every need. Like a baby bird in the nest of safety, I wanted to stay home. But he told me to carry this gospel message into the great unknown. But I don't want to go where I've never been. I have such limited sight. But I'm spreading my wings in faith and I'm taking flight. a nanny for two little kiddos and every day I would take them to uh, their preschool they went to a, a private Christian preschool back in town in Joplin and every month the teacher had them memorize a Bible verse each kid had a certain Bible verse they were to memorize and at the end of the month recite it in front of their class and one of my little boy he was three years old and he got this Bible verse it was Psalm 23 and his teacher said you know he's just having a hard time memorizing this verse and I said okay well, we'll work on it at home we'll get it and finally the day came for him to recite it we had worked really really hard and his teacher came up to me after class and she said you know I gotta tell you he, when I called him to go stand up in front and say his verse, he probably walked up there and stood up there and he said, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, and that is all I need to know. <laughs> Which 
choose, but this is the stuff you use. But this is the stuff you use So break me of impatience Conquer my frustrations I've got a new appreciation It's not the end of the world This is the stuff you use that we did uh, was a hymns project and man we just so enjoyed singing those old songs and you know there was a time when Deb and I were not in church and the girls were growing up and not uh, Christy we've always been in church since you've been little but there was a time when we weren't in church with Kelsey and our church sings a more contemporary worship song which I love but those old hymns just have such great truth in them amen they're just good to sing and I always tell the girls you know that modern worship and praise music is wonderful but it's nothing new 
At one point in time, the hymns were the modern praise and worship music of its time. And when we were doing this project, we had this, uh, this lady in our church who um, is a dear, dear friend of ours, and we just love her. She's about yay tall, and her name is Connie. And she is the sweetest woman you would ever want to meet. But you would never want to cross her. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Don't shake your head, Brother Lonnie. Don't even, don't even, don't even make a move. Just and 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 so when we were doing the Hens Project, we were asking friends, what would you like to hear? We fully expected to hear Amazing Grace and uh, um, the old rugged cross and those. And she came up and she said, I want you to know. She said, I want you to sing. And she named this particular song. And I said, oh, that's a great song. Yeah, we might be able to sing that one. She said, well, I just want you to know that if you don't, I will hunt you down. <laughs> and I said, yes, ma'am, it'll be on the project. <laughs> and I love it because when we sing it, I get to see everyone's eyes pop wide open. And I do call this one of the original praise and worship songs. I think you're going to recognize it. Please, please sing along. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation. Purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. my heart it does no good to pretend with God and I was just praying Lord you say you will provide my every need you know my needs you know what I've got to do you want me to be on time of this payment you better get cracking that's just that's just what it was because I didn't I didn't have an answer and 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 a song the next morning I woke up and a song popped up into my head and it was one of our songs now I love it when God uses our music to touch other folks but when he uses your own song to talk to you, 
It's like going out when I was younger and picking the switch, the switch off the tree that my mama was going to use on me. But it got to the point. It struck right in my heart. And I went back to my wife and their daughters. And I said, we're going to re-record that song and release it. Because I think a lot of people today are caught right where I was. I was caught between being worried and angry about a position that I had found myself in. And I was crying out to God, but nonetheless, I was still worried and I was still angry about the situation. And he used this song to minister to me. And maybe today, something in your life has got you caught in between those two things. I want you to know, he knows your needs and is able to meet them. Looks like this won't be the day, my prayer gets an answer. The old me would have given up by now. But I'll press on anyway. For I know God is faithful and He's gonna make a way somehow. Cause I know God. forgotten. I, I knew that we were refinancing the bus, but I've forgotten that when you refinance, you skip a month payment. I called the bank and told them I am not going to be able to meet that on time. They said, well, you refinance. Your payment is not due till next month. And God met our needs. And here's the thing about that. You may say it's not a big deal. God knew four years earlier that four years later I was going to need the money to make the payment and he arranged and he can do that in your life amen, amen. brother Darrell come on up we're going to turn it over you were looking forward to your message come on welcome brother Darrell as he comes amen